Hello everybody, welcome back to War Thunder. we got a short and sweet game for you today. Flying a aircraft that's not necessarily unpopular, but it is certainly fairly uncommon on the battlefield. This is the Whirlwind Mark I, specifically the Whirlwind P9, which is a special variant of a fairly uncommon aircraft to begin with. This is the premium slash event version of the Whirlwind Mark I. Uh, identical, aside from the fact that this one cannot carry any ordnance, which kind of hurts it because it really works quite well as an air-to-ground aircraft. Uh, but uh, as a trade-off, it has these 420mm guns, like the regular Mark I, but arranged in a different fashion, as you can see here. Uh, it also has twice the ammo, somehow, <laughs> of the regular Tech Tree version, which is why I am using it in an air-to-air -air scenario here because this is technically a heavy fighter and uh, like the lightning that you can see up there to my right it's uh, one of the few twin engine aircraft which isn't completely hopeless in a dogfight it's not recommended but it's not hopeless just so you can bear that in mind um, so yes short and sweet game for you as you can see the replay length is not all that long uh, we haven't spawned in too long ago and we've just been kind of casually gaining altitude as you do at the start of an air realistic battle uh, this is probably about enough looks like for once the German team has not uh, all climbed in fact none of them have climbed so uh, I guess we uh, are gonna have to fly down low this time now the whirlwind is an incredibly underrated aircraft I will admit Gaijin's kind of done it dirty and it's not particularly great at anything uh, the ammo count, even on the premium version, is definitely a bit of a kick in the teeth. <laughs> and uh, it is fairly underpowered, cannot go too fast in a dive, and so on and so on. But it does look amazing. I mean, this is definitely one of the most badass looking aircraft ever. Just look at that. It's just awesome. It's like a propeller driven meteor. Um, and fortunately, a lot of the other air aircraft buffs seem to think that the whirlwind does look incredible um, always bugged me though one time when this was a new aircraft because it's still not that old it's only been in the game for like three years or so so it's one of the newer World War II era aircraft um, War Thunder did a video on it or they mentioned it in one of their newest videos and they called it ugly or something <laughs> I was like what no one thinks this plane is ugly except you it's probably why they kind of treated it so bad with its statistics but enough about that we are engaging in combat with a BF 109 and here you can kind of see the lackluster dive performance almost over speeding there um, good thing we didn't continue diving otherwise we might be dead but we're still alive we have enough energy to kind of boom and zoom this BF 109 how the turns have tabled as they say and now we can start going to town on this guy um, with backup actually uh, we have our P-38 Lightning friend also strafing and diving on them. This BF-109 looks like they're trying to run home. Either they thought that would be a waste of time or they knew that we would catch up to them. So it looks like they're turning to fight and here you can see the kind of struggling nature of these uh, in a dogfight. And BF-109 is not great in a, like, a regular dogfight but it's good enough to um, throw my aim off a couple times. This FW-190 who is not only distracted by the AI plane there but even if he wasn't there's not a lot they would do. A 190 is terrible in a dogfight. Just trying to get the right aim and there you go these 420 millimeters when they hit they do do a lot of damage. Now for another BF-109F get a couple light hits nothing major though. Uh, that Corsair is in trouble so thus begins a dogfight and there goes the Corsair actually let's see if we can do something about this this is currently a two on one dogfight so we've got to wait for our allied Corsair to uh, hurry up and get over here so we have some help because it's likely I will not be able to finish this on my own there you go there's some more hits in the 109 but nothing critical so they are both still alive and you can see we are somewhat able to keep up with a, in a turn in, with a BF-109, which is quite impressive for a twin-engined aircraft, because usually twice the, uh, double the engines, double the drag, and double the weight as well. Um, so, but there you go, successfully snipped off that wing on the BF-109 there. Uh, this aircraft is quite good in a head-on after all with those nose-mounted guns. 
and this four 20 millimeter cannons remember but we are low on ammo I said this aircraft has double the amount of ammo of the premium variant but even so we are starting to run low so we're gonna have to finish this real soon Ooh, and there you go my final shot slice the tail off of that PF-109 and whoa that's a very trigger happy P-38 there nearly killing me in the process and there you are and sure we fire off the remainder of our ammo in the last moments of this battle so I wasn't kidding I did say short I did say sweet it is a short and sweet round of War Thunder only three kills but it was a fairly swift game and uh, four of the other kills were sprinkled among the remainder of our team and our team as a whole did quite well the enemy only actually shot down three of us which is quite good and there you go that's the uh, the whirlwind p9 a very uncommon aircraft on the battlefield which is a shame because look how awesome it looks and just for uh, you know purposes we'll show off the uh, tech tree variant as well which looks arguably even cooler with those two 500 pound bombs on it oh it looks very nice it looks very nice indeed how cool is that so there you go and uh, obviously if you like that video hit the like button comment down below for more and obviously subscribe for more content as well and i'll catch you in the next one